now that I've got my microphone set up correctly, hopefully, I'm going to play a little Final Fantasy VII. Now, it's been a hot minute since we uh, last left off. Blasting it with ice. That didn't do much. I'm still waiting for a variant of this to uh, show up on Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, that didn't do any good. You motherfucker. Nice. Yes! And I got the E-Skill. Beautiful. Counter Materia. Red 13 already has a sense materia equipped, so... 
Ah, there it is. Yes. And... Just in case I run into any random battles on the way out... Chunky Dragons! Yeah, Odin has two possible summons. Gunge Lance, which you saw during the boss fight, and Steel Bladed Sword, which is an instant death move. And we move forward to Rocket Town. What's that? A rusty old rocket. I wonder why they made something so huge. And up the rocket I go. Only to find the door is shut tight. Oh, whatever shall I do? I think this is the one. Uh, I'm gonna do a little shopping first. Welcome, this is the item shop. Sure is. Barrier, exit, and time. Time will be of much use. And I'll also grab Barrier. this one. A gun is a man's weapon. Nothing else will do. And that's all he's got. Aside from gold armlets, which I can't afford right now.
Uh, truth be told, I'm probably strong enough to take on this next little section anyway. And then once we get the tiny Bronco, I'll go do Gaganga, since I missed it last time. There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. <laughs> this is cool. Will it fly? Is it alright to just take it? Um, may I help you? No, we're just looking at it. If you would like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shara. What are your names? I'm Cloud. Nanaki, otherwise known as Red Thirteen. I'm Barrett of Avalanche. Hmm, so you're not with the Shinra. I thought you were bringing approval for the space program. Huh? President Rufus is scheduled to come here. The captain's been so restless all morning. Rufus. Now we should be able to enter the rocket. And it's open. What are you guys doing here? We heard the captain was here. I'm the captain. The name's Sid. Everyone calls me Captain, though. What do you want? Tell me about this rocket. Wow, not bad for a kid. Alright then, I'll explain it to you. You know Shinra developed a lot of technological gadgets during the Meaningless War, right? Now it's a Mako company, but in the old days it was a weapons manufacturer. Well, well, they came up with the rocket engine. There was so much excitement about it. Oh, the thought of going into outer space. Our dreams got bigger and bigger. Uh, I just uh, went from redneck to, <laughs> to South Carolina. <laughs> uh, tell me down below which you'd prefer. They put a major budget into it, made prototype after prototype. Finally, they completed the Shinra number 26. They chose the best pilot in Shinra. No, in the world. Me. I mean, come on. And finally, we get to the day of the launch. Everything was going well. But because of that dumbass Shara, the launch got messed up. That's why they became so anal. And so, Shinra nixed their outer space exploration plans. Come on, brain. One accent. After they told me how the future was space exploration. After they told me how the future was space exploration. And got my damn hopes up. Damn them! Then it was all over once they found out Mako energy was profitable. They didn't even so much as look at space exploration. Fuck it. Money, moolah, dinero. My dream was just a financial number for them. Look at this rusted rocket. It was supposed to be the first man in space with... I was supposed to be the first man in space with this. Every day it tilts a little bit more. At this rate, I don't know which will be first. This thing falling over or me getting out of here. My last hope is to talk to the president.
Yeah, my mic might be a little too high. Let's see here. Yeah, that hopefully will do it. I can hear my own recording in my headphones, so there's that. <laughs> And into here. Excuse me, Cloud? Did the captain say anything? Nope. Oh. Fuck, Shara, what are you, blind? Get, we got guests, get some tea. Fuck. I I'm sorry. Really, don't mind us. Shut up. Sit down in those chairs and drink your goddamn tea. Ah, uh, damn, I'm pissed. Share, I'll be in the backyard tuning up the tiny Bronco. And make sure you serve them some tea, all right? Who does he think he is? Sorry, it's our fault. No, no, he's always like this. He always like this? That's pretty bad. No, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? Hey, get your ass in gear. You work like a snail. Even the moon get tired waiting around for your ass. I I'm sorry. Don't take so much time checking that fucking oxygen tank. Shara, being careful's good, but no matter how many times you check that oxygen tank, it won't matter. Even if that thing would that thing wouldn't break even if hell froze over. But no buts. You're not stupid, so be more efficient. I'm sorry. Captain, our dreams are finally coming true. We're so proud to be part of the launch of the Shinra number 26. Captain, preparations are complete. All that's left is liftoff. Yeah, leave it all to me. I'll be back in a few. All right, Captain. Fly our dreams into outer space. Thanks, guys. We're praying for your safety. Instrument panel all clear. Shinra number 26 ready for launch. Engine pressure rising. Shinra number 26. Three minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. Finally. What the... What happened? Sid, we have an emergency situation. A mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What... Who's the little fucker? I don't know. Activating the intercom in the engine section. Hey, god damn it! Who the fuck is still in there? It's Shara, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. Shara, what are you still doing in there? I was still concerned. The results of the oxygen tank w test weren't satisfactory. You stupid little bitch! It's gonna get so hot in there, you ain't gonna be shit left when we blast off. You're gonna be burnt to a crisp. You're gonna die, don't you know that? I don't mind. If I can just fix this, as the launch will be a success. I'm almost done. Almost done? You're gonna die! Sid, we must start the countdown. We won't make it if we don't. Starting engine. 
Hey, wait a minute. Cher is still in there. What are you What are you going to do, Sid? If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until the next launch. God damn it, Cher. You want to make me a murderer? Captain. Cher? Tank number seven check is complete. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shara, hurry up, you're gonna die! 30 seconds until ignition, beginning countdown. Sid, forget about her, we won't make it in time. What, what am I supposed to do? Fifteen seconds until ignition. Internal temperature rising. Oh man, the moon out of space, my dreams. Ignite engine. Shit! As he screamed out, shit, he slammed down on the emergency abort mission button. Thus saving Shara's life. He pushed the emergency shutdown switch, aborting the mission to save my life. After that, the space program was cut back and the launch was cancelled. It was my fault his dream was destroyed. That's why it's alright. I don't care what the captain says. I'll live my life for him. Shara, you still haven't served them tea! I'm sorry. Hurry up and sit down, or ain't my hospitality good enough for you? They're late. Where's Rufus? Hey, hey, long time no see. So, Sid, how you been? Well, if it ain't Fat Man Palmer, how long you, were you figuring on keeping me waiting? So, when's the space program gonna start up again? Hey, hey, I don't know. President's outside. Why don't you ask him? Fuck, good for nothing, fat ass. Don't say fat. Hey, hey, T. Can I have some too? With lots of sugar and honey and. Oh, yeah, don't forget the Lord. Drill arm. Yeah, I'm not using anything that would connect anyway. Any other loot in here? Nope, nothing in the bathroom. What the? You got me all excited for nothing. Then what do you come here for? I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. We're going after Sephiroth, but it seems we've been going in the wrong direction. But now I we think we know where he's headed. But we have to cross the ocean. That's why we want our on your plane. Fucking hell! First the airship, then the rocket, and now the tiny Bronco. Shinra took out a space away from me. Now you want to take the sky away from me, too? Oh, my. You seem to forget it was because of Shinra, Inc. that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Uh, excuse me. This way. You wanted to use the tiny Bronco, right? I believe Palmer's going to take it. Why don't you talk to him? 
And by talk to him, I mean beat the shit out of his lard ass. Hmm, why do I have to do this? I'm head of the space program. We'll be taking the tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. I know the shit about building. When the president was killed, no security. Wow. <laughs> Hucker, I'm going to be the one laughing in a minute. Once I summon the Norse Allfather to kick your head in. Or in this case, impale you upon a spear. Gungnir itself. Did that even do any damage? I didn't see the numbers. <laughs> oh! He almost lost his head there. Yeah, dude. Then he tries to run off. He gets hit by a truck. <laughs> I can't stop it. Forget it, get in.
Unfortunately, he managed to miss a single shot. Fuck, the tail's been hit. Emergency landing. This is going to be a big splash. Hold on to your drawers and don't piss in them. She won't fly anymore. Can't we use it as a boat? Fuck, do whatever you want. Sid, what will you do now? I don't know. I'm history with the Shinra, and I've given up on that town. How about your wife, Shara? Wife, don't make me laugh. Just thinking about marrying her gives me the chills. What are you guys going to do? We're going after a man named Sephiroth. We'll have to get Rufus of the Shinra someday, too. I don't know about any of that, but... What the hell? Sign me up. How about everyone else? I don't care. Glad to be aboard, numbskulls. <laughs> numbskulls? Yeah, anyone stupid enough to go up against Shinra nowadays gotta be a numbskull. I like it. So where are we headed? Rufus was going after Sephiroth to the Temple of Ancients. Really, where is it, that Temple of Ancients? I don't know, that numbskull kid was telling me he was heading the wrong direction. Maybe it's off this way. Let's just head for land and get some information. Temple of Ancients. That name bothers me. All right. Now I'm going to circle the continent until I find a river or something or an interior sea. Oh. Of course. I gotta go to the other way. While avoiding landing on Wutai. That makes you do a side quest completely without materia. Because I completely went past Goganga. Is someone there? Hey Rude, who do you like? 
What are you getting so embarrassed about? Come on, who do you like? Tifa. Hmm. That's a tough one. But poor Elna, she... you... No, she likes Sing. I never knew... I never knew that. But Sing likes that ancient. What are they talking about? It's so stupid. They always talk about who they like and don't like. But Sing is different. Ah, oh well, no. How'd she not notice us right to begin with? They're here. They're really here. Then it's time. Rude, don't go easy on them. Not even the girls. Don't worry, I'll do my job. Then we're counting on you. I'll report to Sing. It's been a while. Payback time for what you did in Sector 7. That's sad. That's as far as you go. We may be retreating, but we're still victorious. Sure you are. Hey Cloud, how did the Turks know to wait in ambushes here? They followed us, but there aren't any signs of it, and that means... A spy, may A spy, maybe? N no way. But I don't even want to think about there being a spy. I trust everyone. Oh, back for more, are you? A ruined reactor. It's Scarlet, head of Shinra weapon development. Huh. 
This isn't any good either. You only get junky materia from junky reactors. This reactor is a failure. What I'm looking for is big, large, huge materia. Do you see any? No, I haven't seen it. I'll get on it right away. Please, we could make the ultimate weapon if we only had some. I just can't wait. With, Ho with Hojo gone, weapons development's been getting a bigger budget. I envy them. But even if we make the perfect weapon, could that be stupid Heidegger even you could that stupid Heidegger even use it? Oh, sorry, I forgot Heidegger was your boss. <laughs> Let's go. Big, large, huge materia. An ultimate weapon. The perfect weapon? Just what are Shinra up to? There's something shiny back there. Got what I came for. A ruined reactor. <coughs> Excuse me. Huh? Did you want something? Weapon shop must be up. <laughs> up the pole. Yep. You want something? Primarily just downgrades but that's to be expected I was actually supposed to go here before I went to Cosmo Canyon or before I went to Nibelheim, Nibelheim at least Death blow materia. <coughs> Excuse me.
Huh? Oh, another customer. You sure picked an um, out-of-the-way place, but if it's the keystone you're looking for, you're too late. Don't have it. Keystone? What, you didn't come here for that? The keystone is the key that unlocks the gate to a very old temple somewhere. You're not going to believe your ears, but I heard it was the Temple of the Ancients. The Temple of the Ancients? <laughs> Don't take it seriously, it's just a legend. Oh.